Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Since it's the end of the year, I wanted to do my favourites of 2018. So these are my favourite things that I've reviewed this year. These are in no particular order. It's just a selection of quads and transmitters that I've liked this year. So, starting off with the Bugs 5W. This blew me away when I got this. I didn't know what to expect. I obviously had the Bugs 3 and the Bugs 6. This is such a stable and smooth flyer. The camera underneath is 1080, it's adjustable from the controller. It really does fly nice, beautiful thing, £109 I picked it up from. You still buy it from that price all over eBay in the UK. And it really is a sensational drone, comes with spare props, nice controller. And it really is a stunning drone. If MGX could make a gimbal to go on, a proper gimbal to go on either the 2 or 3 axis and made it 4K, I think they'd be giving DJI's lower end price stuff a run for the money because they fly superb. The return to home on this is as good as any DJI product I've ever flown and it really is fantastic. At the end of this video I'm going to put a playlist up with everything I'm going to show you today for the full reviews so you can make your own mind up. This is the Jumper T12. I also own the other TASGs, the yellow edition, the normal black and silver edition, the ones with the Hall Effect gimbals. This thing blew me away. I didn't. I wasn't even going to bother buying this. I only bought it to review, and I've actually fell in love with it. And I use it a lot. Runs on Open TX, which is what I like most about it. I wasn't ever keen on the deviation software. Really good combo of being able to put whatever you want onto it. Comes pre-installed with a four-in-one module at the rear. Really, is a fantastic transmitter. Highly recommend this. I think for the money, you can't really go wrong. It's fantastic. The Autel Evo. So I've only just, as you've probably seen, I've only just reviewed this recently on here. So when I bought this, uh, I'd never thought it'd be better than my Mavic Pro, but it is. I just absolutely love this. I've totally fallen in love with it. It flies superb. The flying characteristics are fantastic. I love the fact I don't have to bring my phone with me when I want to go fly it anymore once I've got it set up. It really is nice. The camera quality is fantastic. Filming 4K60 is amazing. I can't speak highly enough about this. You'll have seen the review, you've seen the footage. There's a lot more coming in the next month or so. Of this. I've tested all the flight modes out. Fly it so it's in their version of tripod mode so you can see how stable it is and how nice it can film. But yeah, really, really, really nice drill. The FQ77, FQ35. When I bought this, I bought this at the same time as I bought the FQ40, which I hated, which made me not review this for a couple of weeks. I left it in his box which was a mistake because this thing flies absolutely superb but in my opinion is better than the Vizio there I've said it get some hate for that um, but yeah it's fantastic tiltable camera 720p camera looks not too bad it's not brilliant the camera they never are on any of these brushed geared motors good for about 10 minutes flight time really is a nice drone and for 32 quid I think it's a bit of a no brainer The UK 65. Now, this is definitely my favourite indoor drone. I haven't got the Mobula 7 yet. I've got one coming. And when I get that, this I might change my mind on this. But this thing is amazing. You can fly indoor, outdoor, smack it into everything you want. It's got smart audio. It's very, very easy to fly. It really is a wonderful thing. And I think they look really, really, really nice. I love the fact it's got the Union Jack on it. Fantastic drone. Again, one of my favourites of the year. Really, really do like this. The Nirvana. So, this is a bit of Marmite, I think, because you've got to like the shape. You've got to... And you've got to put up with the fact you had issues when it first came out. Most of them have now been addressed. The only thing I don't like is I have to use a, uh, a stylus if I want to type on the screen. Not if I want to input, but to type in. I really do love this. And this is maybe a better flyer. There's no doubt about it. The gimbals are amazing. It's not just that they feel really good, which they do, it's the fact they're so precise. So when you're flying with this thing, it really is nice. Unless you've used one and held it in your hands and flown with it, you won't, it's hard to describe, but it really is fantastic. I'll leave my review at the end of this. You'll see the full review. I've also done a comparison with this and the x Lite, which didn't make it into my favourites. Great transmitter, but I was only going to put one top-end transmitter in. That's why this one went in. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. 
the Mavic Air. Came out early in the year, got it from the week it was released. And it's great. Does everything you want it to do. The only thing I can criticise it for, the gimbal's not great in wind. It does move about a lot. And the gimbal's not as smooth as I would like. The drone itself flies very well. You can fly it in wind. It falls to a very small size. It's got front and rear optical avoidance and air pass through, in other words. Instead of just stopping, it'll go round objects, which is an amazing thing. And it really is a nice drone. When it first, I think I paid seven something when it came out. Now you can pick one up if you're not bothered about having a recon one for 500 quid on quite a few places. Sell them now. Different stuff. If you look at Scan, I think it sells them at that price now. Really are worth getting at that money. And I love the fact it uses an SD card plus it's got internal storage built in. So it has only 8 gig, but it's enough if you forget your card or something goes wrong. You've always got that 8 gig to fall back on. But yeah, fantastic drone. Highly recommended. The Parrot and Affy. Now, I'll be honest, this would not have made it in at the price I paid for it. So I, when they came out, they were 649, uh, or 629, I can't remember, 649 to 629. They're not worth the money at that money. But now Amazon are selling them for 450, and at 450, it's a great drone. It's got no obstacle avoidance, obviously, and it's only got, as you're well aware now, a two axis gimbal, so the third axis is stabilised, but the footage you get out of one of these things is immense. I'd like anybody to tell me the footage doesn't look good out of one of these because they'd be wrong because it does look fantastic. Compared to the Mavic Air, there's very little in it for image quality. It flies really well in the wind because of these small props. And at 450 it's worth the money. What it was, I don't think it, it was, but certainly at that money. I'm going to have a comparison video in the new year between this and the Hubson Zeno because the Hubson Zeno retails at 369, this is 449. And they both got 4K camera, but the Hudson's got a three axis stabilised gimbal. So we can tell picture quality just how good the Zeno is compared to this. So that's coming up in the new year. The Vizero XS812. So this has been a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest. This flies as stable as a brushless drone. It's obviously got brush motors. But it really is a nice flyer. It'll just sit in the air. The, when I first did the review on this, I think the winds were 20 mile an hour flew it in. I've done another video since and it's much calmer day. This is a really good drone. And this will be my comparison that I use against any brushed GPS drone. And I've got a few coming up. I've got the Eosheen E511, I think it is, GPS. Which is a Mavic clone look, Mavic clone look alike. We'll compare that to this. Because this is in, a, in my, my tester model now. So I compare everything to this. Camera wise, the flight characteristics. This thing has got amazing return to home. I can't really fault this in many ways at all. And for now, it's, I think you can pick them up for 80 or just under 80 pounds. Bit of a no brainer. If you haven't got one and you're thinking about getting one, and this is on your mind, don't think about it anymore. Just get one. So, you probably won't agree with everything I've put in there. This is just a quick overview of what I've thought have been the best models of the year. There's been some other great stuff out that haven't got in here and there's been some rubbish out as well as you will find every year and I'm sure moving to next year we'll have exactly the same problem. Coming up in ne coming up next at the beginning of 2019 I've got more on the Xeno, I've got the Femi, Xiaomi Femi drone, I've got more on the JJR CX7 and a whole load of other stuff coming up that I've already got in the pipeline and the videos I've already done ready to upload to YouTube. So all it means for you to say is have a fantastic 2019 and thanks ever so much for all your support throughout the year. It's been immense. Get me to a thousand subscribers and keep watching my videos. If you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the like button on my videos and hit the notification bell for a lot of great stuff coming up in the first couple of months of 2019. Happy New Year!